What's up everybody, it's easy. Got a cool video for you. Got a little surprise coming up in the middle. What I've been doing for the past uh, two weeks straight. That's why I kind of fell off the map. Uh, this is a farming video. Got about, uh, I don't know, four, three or four really good farms. We're doing a lot of farming that we're hitting these big, huge bases. I don't, we have the times four event right now. So I'm, I'm thinking that's probably why, why everyone is seeing so much loot. Um, this is just a good example of why you don't bring barbarians and archers when you're farming. <laughs> Something that our our guys we've been preaching to since day one, pretty much. Uh, you know, you bring your war troops if you can. Now I know that if your war troops are maybe the slap, it's that's a really expensive army, and you and you probably don't want to build that particular army to to go farm with. But if you can keep your dark looks for around a thousand and uh, still have an effective attack that would probably be ideal um, if you're in up there in Town Hall 11 you can probably go up a little higher than that because you know you're, you're attacking bases that maybe 4,000 5,000 uh, I think uh, at Town Hall 11 uh, you know most of the bases that I attack that are that are 11s have over 5,000 Dark Elixir so you can afford to bring a 2,000 Dark Elixir army so don't know what the record is I know that uh, ours is pretty close to 2 million. Uh, that's not in this video, that was on a previous video, but that was by uh, one of our guys, Flex, and it was just under 2 million. That right there was almost a million gold alone, or it looks for a long one of the two. So that was a, a great farm. Uh, got a couple of the, the ones that you don't see a name on the right, those, these are ones that I did, and these were kind of uh, live while I was recording. So, uh, not quite as much as the ones that were already recorded, but it was still pretty good, so I decided to throw them in there too. And so what I've been using at Town Hall 11, uh, th now this one was a little different. I had a, a pretty heavy dark looks around me, but normally what I'll use is uh, 30 or 35 miners and a couple hog riders, usually about five and a wizard or two. And I'll carve out as much as I can with, uh, with oh, and, and uh, four healers. I forgot about that. Yeah, and I'll, I'll use the queen walk and I'll carve out, uh, you know, the, the whole outer wall on one of the sides of, of the walls. And uh, I use the, the the hog riders to jump over the walls and take on any defenses that are beating up the queen so I don't have to use her ability or don't try not to use uh, any spells on her if I can avoid it. And then, you th and then, uh, then once you have a nice uh, section carved out of the base with the queen, then you can throw the, the miners in there and the miners will take out the rest of the base. Uh, uh, excellent, excellent troop to farm with when you're hunting Dark Elixir because they are an Elixir troop and they, they're still a, you know, an elite troop. They, maybe not what they used to be, uh, but I see them all the time. I see them in war at Town Hall 11, farming with them in Town Hall 11 a lot. Uh, matter of fact, I think probably right now, it's, it's probably been the, the, the most miners I've seen in, a, in about a year. Uh, I'm thinking about every third or fourth army is all miners, and I'm sure it's for the same reason that I use them. It's because I can I can put in an effective army, and, and uh, uh, the army has maybe four or five hundred dark elixir because of a few spells, and the hog riders, which are pretty cheap pretty overall, you know. So as we get into this attack, I wanted to show everyone what I'm doing, and I'm pretty excited about it. Now it, it's not going to be coming out probably this week. It'll probably be next week. And I'll tell you, this is either going to be something that's going to be like really cool for everyone to do, or it's going to get me banned. I don't know which yet. <laughs> um, still trying to figure out exactly what Supercell will allow. Uh, been, been on the forums, been uh, on their website. Haven't really contacted them yet because I guess because I don't want them to tell me no. <laughs> so I want to have everything set first and. Um, when, when I approach them, I want to have a, a finished product before I try to get them to agree to what, what I want to do. But um, building a tournament, uh, building a, a tournament for the builder base. Uh, this is uh, and and this is just you know the first uh, version of it. 
but this is what the tournament bracket will look like and now this is not a tournament that I'm gonna run this is a tournament that people can come onto the website and if they decide they want to play the way that will work is if the, the first person that has to sign up will be the person that's actually going to run the tournament so they will click on the tournament director button and it will bring them to like a sign up page where they'll be able to put in their information uh, once they name the tournament and put in all the information they'll they'll go to the next page and the next page is where the other players the, uh, the other seven players can sign up from and then once all eight players have signed up it will automatically bring them over into the tournament bracket they'll be able to play the tournament uh, depending on supercell's rules uh, will be the actual payout as it's stated right now we're not allowed to uh, have an entry fee but I'm not sure exactly what that's going to what that's going to mean. I don't know how liberal they are um, on giving permission to have an entry fee. Uh, we, we are doing this because uh, we, we, we pay, you know th we are fans of the game and we want people to enjoy the game. And we think that a, a great avenue for people to enjoy the game will be in a tournament mode. And because we don't have, you know, I can't program the game. I don't personally. I don't know how to even. Uh, approach Supercell to add any kind of in-game incentives and I, I've heard that they can do that I know they can do that with Clash Royale I don't know if they can do that with Clash of Clans yet so we can easily do that by um, charging an entry fee and, and and doing payouts based on the entry fee but from what I understand they may not allow us to do that um, we do have ways uh, have figured out a couple ways to get around that and uh, we still have to kind of go over all that with uh, Supercell to make sure we're not violating any of the rules because the last thing we want to do is uh, is cause anyone that plays to lose their account or for us to lose you know I'll, I won't lose my account over over that uh, not after three years and a little investment that I've made <laughs> but anyway it's it's a uh, so anyway it, it, once we get kids up going I, I'm not sure exactly when uh, because I have to create everything and uh, I suck at it <laughs> basically I've been trying to create these forms and have it all uh, and, and have them all work automatically and and uh, banging my head against the wall half the time because I don't know how to do anything so having to create everything having to create the sign up forms having to create uh, the way everyone pays the way everything's linked together and uh, I just kind of suck at it so uh, slow process but it is going it, we are moving forward and, and it, we are making progress on it even though it's slow so look forward to that w once it's out I I will probably try to get in touch with everyone that I know I'll probably hit up all the big youtubers and see if uh, if they are interested in it and if they are then they'll probably let pe all their people know so I'm pretty sure that everyone will, will know about it as soon as live I would say today being Monday I would say by next Monday uh, maybe even two Mondays from now I, I'm not sure so hopefully hopefully we can get it sooner than that but uh, I've been working on the last week I think I worked on it for 40 hours and I just <laughs> I just got the tournament bracket built and the registration forms built and the database is filled and, and I, I don't know how to link them all together appropriately to have everything work out to where um, I don't have to be there for anything. I want this to be completely automated to where the players can sign up, the tournament director can sign up, and they will put everyone's name in the brackets where they're supposed to go. So there's no, uh, so, so there's, there's nothing that you guys really have to do other than um, figure out how we're going to get the prize packages together. Whether it be an entry fee if Supercell allows that, which personally, uh, I don't see why they wouldn't. Uh, I know they may not profit from the entry fee directly themselves, but they will. The, everyone, you're gonna have to make a clan if you're gonna want to create the tournament. It'll be the easiest way to do it. And there's a there's a, a fairly small um, uh, fee to do that in-game fee, so uh, uh, they'll benefit from it that way. There there may be other ways that we can uh, give them incentive to allow us to do this. And, and on top of that, this would be a great way for them to watch uh, to see how much people like the Builder Base tournaments because I believe that this is something that's going to be coming in the game soon. I don't know when exactly. Uh, things like this take a long time, uh, so it may be a year from now. But if we can come up with something quick in the next couple weeks, uh, they, they'll, they'll have a, a, they can watch this stuff for a long time and see how popular it is. And if it's popular on our, on our website, 
and we end up having literally thousands of users which is what could happen uh, then that would give them some incentive to go ahead and, and get it going on a very large scale so look forward to that I'm, I'm excited you can't hear it in my voice because I'm exhausted <laughs> I've uh, whenever I do projects like this I, it's hard for me to sleep at night well I'm, cause I'm, I'm just thinking about all these things that I want to do I gotta do it so uh, my, my little version of insanity so uh, last attack I know I didn't really go play by play on any, any of these attacks this there was kind of the background what's going on uh, all of them you know all the attacks were 1.5 million and up so um, use big armies get those big armies out there um, if you don't want to use a war army at, at least use like big giant healer wizard armies because that will get the job done most of the time but if you're three star and a lot of these big bases that right there was for 800,000 each 4,000 dark elixir so uh, you know big 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 pots out there go out there and get them so uh, hope you enjoyed the video uh, check back with us about the tournaments. I'm gonna let everyone all my guys know I'll let everyone on the channel know I'll let everyone from the website know But if you are not associated with any, any of those you want to be so sub to the channel go to the website check it out It's www.clashmadeeasy.com uh, You can't get to the web to, to the tournament stuff yet. It's not live so you can't really find it yet But there's so much stuff on that website that I know you'll enjoy so go check it out so uh, appreciate everyone for watching till the end. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.